everybody, today I want to cover my favorite flatfish bait, the cast bait specifically using mackerel and red eye. And as I always mention, the red eyes, I use my defrosted red eyes, ones I'm not going to use again. They're not always easy to get, the Natal red eyes are brilliant. In season, obviously, when they're around, they're easy to get, but the rest of the year, sometimes you battle to get them, and they're a fantastic bait. Now, combining these two on the banks at Ntanzini or any of the areas after three days of north northeast, fishing for your guitar fish, your big sand sharks, that is, uh, your diamond skates or butterfly rays, um, specifically, and then anything else, duck bulls, brown skates, all of them will pick it up. A brown skate, obviously, this is quite a big bait, you might not get it in. Um, but any of your flat fish will pick this up. A shark might not swim past that at all. Alright, so keep that in mind if you want to fish a piece of steel, maybe a bite trace or a full steel. In this case, I've just used mono, specifically targeting uh, a flat fish, and I've used a mustad a tuna circle hook, and this is a tenno. I've got a dangle, which I just make with a piece of uh, Fishmate piano, a uh, nylon coated steel. Two crimps, the mustad crimps, a reef, mustad ring, and then you leave place for your hook to go through. Um, two toothpicks I stick through and I tie the foam nice up, and I put a bead on this side. Now, as I've mentioned before, you'll, you need to keep this bait because your sinker clips on here, and it's gonna go into that direction. That's the streamlineness of your bait. So you'd rather make it bulky towards the hook and more streamlined to the bottom if you wanna do that. Otherwise, you can just make it a round bait or a rugby ball bait as we call it. Very important, the size of your dangle should be the size of your bait. And uh, the little bratty knife, the nice mustache <laughs> knife I'm using. Okay, so it's basically there. And now I can just decide how I wanna do it. I wanna do it in a diamond. And that's going to be the base of my bait. Let's cut that out. <coughs> the head to the bottom, as you can see with the streamliners. On a mackerel, here on the top of its head, there's a lot of oil. It's like almost little oil canisters. And you can just prick that with your knife a little bit. I want to trim it a bit. Yeah, I want to trim it a bit. There, yeah, I want to trim it a bit and just shape it nicely to how I want it to form the base of the bait. Take the gill plates off. Now look at those gills, that's where the blood and the guts sit. So I just remove this fishing a whole mackerel or smaller bait, any of them really. I'm going to split this open. Still frozen. And towards the sinker, fit that, get my toothpicks nice and solid into the flesh. And that prevents it from slipping when you're casting with a bigger sinker and you've got a especially with a braid, your bait can shoot up or off and then it doesn't sit nice and presentable the way you had it. So the toothpicks is there to keep your bait nice sturdy where you want it. Again, I'm using my hand to shape it. One of the benefits of using semi-frozen bait. Doesn't fall all over the show, you can actually work with it. So there's your base of your bait. With a mackerel, quite easy. You just do cutlets.
be enough for now. We'll cut, well, I think two more. Okay, can we start with the bigger ones? Get them on your base. Tie those two or one to the base first so they nice and fixed. Because remember those toothpicks are holding your base. So you don't just wrap this right round with cutlets because the cutlets will slide off. There's nothing um, sharp like a toothpick holding them. So you first tie those, you start like that. Now this boat you basically build up. See you need a bit more, you add. Start shaping it. Remember, there's nothing wrong with throwing this bait exactly as it is now, just with a mackerel. All I do specifically, if there's a couple of anglers on the beach doing the same thing, always just add a bit of what you know will work, just to create the distinction and maybe get a bite quicker. And if that doesn't get you a bite quicker, switch back to what the other guys are using or try some, or try the next thing. See now, nice and streamlined to cast. Nothing wrong with this bait to cast that for a flatfish or anything out there. All right, but now just to add the little the little tester, I like cutting out, basically leaving the tail. I need the tail. Okay, cut that off. Then I want to use the belly like that. And remember these gills are fantastic. Let's cut that useless part off. The head. Hold this open. Slit it nicely so I can wrap it. That gill plate can come off. Now what this does, all this blood you're putting on the outside, this is such effective uh, smell and blood and flavor in the water from the red eye. And it will call a lot more fish, like I mentioned in, in previous videos. The red eyes will lure in edibles, non-edibles, flatfish, everything you can imagine will come in for the, for the red eye more than what they would for a mackerel only bait. Okay, put that there. Now, as you saw there, normally with a red eye, there's a lot of blood coming out if they're still fresh and firm. This I do exactly the same. Hold it open. And you can carry on building onto this bait as much as you want. You can add another red eye to this if you want.
keep on shaping it with your hands. And that's what, what makes latex cotton so good for this type of uh, bait you tie. It's because it's elastic. As you shape it with your hand, it holds it where you take it to. And uh, obviously, this thin cotton makes a much, much neater bait presentation. Now this particularly, I would throw after two, three days of northeast, other than a towel coast, where the water has turned nicely, ginger beer color, I would throw it close to a bank. And when I say a bank, is where there's a bit of foam working at 80 to 140 meters. <coughs> uh, you'll see the white foam water and you put it just where that foam starts, from the side, or you can put it on the edges of it. That's where I'll typically throw this, or you can put it on that bank and let it roll off. And this will just hook on, you see it stayed nice and streamlined for the casting. And it will just go on to your, I'm going to battle to get it off, so I'm not putting it completely on the hook. Now look how streamlined that bait is still pointing to the bottom. Your sinker will sit there, and it's going to travel with your sinker, like that through the air. And that will throw a mile. So this is one of my favorite baits, fishing for a specifically flatfish on the banks or anywhere where they're going to be swimming and eating. Go out this holiday period and try this bait and uh, I can bet you'll be very surprised with what you want.